All right, turn on camera. Sorry, I just had to use my magic wand to turn this camera on. So, hey guys, today I'm make, showing you how to make these wands. And as you can see, I have quite an array of them. And um, I actually sell them at craft fairs, and you can actually make quite a bit of money for these at craft fairs. I sell them for five dollars each. Um, so uh, yeah, it's really fun. It's pretty easy. And um, yeah, so let's get started. So to make these wands, you're going to need sticks, of course, and I use pine sticks. And driftwood also works really well because it's nice and soft. You're going to need some stain. I'm actually using leather stain because it works fine on wood for me. You're going to need a handsaw, and then you're going to need something to cut the wood with. I'm using a pen knife. It has to be a good quality pen knife, but it works. If you have a nice, fancy wood carving knife, that works good. You'll need sandpaper, and um, yeah, so let's get started. Since it's to the desired length, it's time to start carving. I like to pick the sticks which have interesting designs or markings on them. One of the most basic designs I've done is bark for the handle and then white wood for the point. Here is the four basic steps for carving the wand point. First, be brutal. We're just going to get a really rough tip-like shape. Now we're just going to get it actually pointy. Just so it really is roughly tip-shaped. Maybe just a little bit more bumpy. Now, we're going to use our thumb and push the knife with it to really smooth out those bumps and make it nice and pointy. And lastly, we're going to sand it. Now, this is an optional step, but it does look nicer if you do. Now for the stain. All you need is a paper towel, and you're just going to dip it in the stain and then rub it all over the wood. Here's something else you can do with leather stain. It doesn't have to be all one solid color. So now we're going to do something a little bit different. It's a little bit kind of cheesy in a way, and it's definitely not so naturey as just carving a wand and leaving it as is. But it does, you can do a, some really cool stuff with it. This is not probably my best work right here. But basically we're going to be making some hot glue gems, and you're just going to use crayon to um to melt it. I mean to color it. So all you need is a hot glue gun and mind that there might get some you might get some crayon on your tip so it's not gonna be as perfect as it might have been before, but it all melts off eventually anyways, so and you're also gonna want something to wipe off the excess crayon so you don't so you don't um get the same colors. So um so, so the colors don't turn brown or whatever. So basically all you need to do is Melt a little crayon on the tip, and then we're just going to squirt it out. And the strings are annoying, but... You want to remember when you're doing this that you're going to have to get more crayon pretty often so like it's not gonna last very long see it's already like running out of um color so you're gonna have to just keep melting more crayon as you go along and of course you can dress up your wands with anything else you like for example wire leather fabric and string and this one i even burnt the tip so it also kind of has drawing qualities, and it just looks cool. And remember, if you don't have a saw and a knife, you could always just use a stick and decorate it. You can use hot glue for the tip like this. I didn't sharpen this tip. And um, yeah, so just have fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly art challenge. This one I actually used colored pencil on. You can't really see it, but I did. And now it's time for me to make an excuse. I'm sorry I haven't posted in forever and I haven't been doing a weekly art challenge. I've been having troubles with posting videos again. And I've also been really busy, so I, I apologize greatly. Um, greatly, greatly, greatly. So I'm, I'm posting one this week and, um, I have some other videos ready for you guys. So, uh, yeah, you can look forward to that. Well, um, yeah. So thanks for watching 
and goodbye.